Hi, everybody. Uh, this is CFS Chan. Um, I'm here to talk about today's uh, EU Masters LOL slate. Um, yesterday, it was very profitable and good for us. Um, um, we, you know, projected the last three games on the slate yesterday to uh, be higher and kill upside. So that really worked out if you had a piece of those teams and those later games. Um, so hopefully the projections are about similar today um, based on my kill upside projection and also the predictions. I think I believe we got five out of six last yesterday. So hopefully we go for five out of six at least and or six for six. That would be that'd be a great day. Um, but I will also mention some good GPP plays as well, like I did yesterday, just based on the kill upside and based on the <clears throat> uh, the ways that based on the play styles of, of those teams that can potentially upset. Um, the opponents in a best of one format. So today, um, it's again, it's a six game slate. Um, let me pull up the actual uh, slate here. Actually, I'll just go over the odds. That way it'll be easier. I can uh, go over the slate as well. Um, Unicorns of Love, <laughs> Sexy Edition um, versus Atleta. They both teams played yesterday and I have a few thoughts on those teams. I do think Unicorns of Love will end up winning. Um, but, you know, I think it's going to be a closer match than people think. And then Phantasm uh, against St. Gamer Legion. We haven't, these are the, this is the first game for both teams here. Uh, Gamer Legion obviously is one of the favorites to win the tournament, um, but they have struggled later in the season um, in their, in their respective league. Um, Phantasm and had, had a great ending to the, to the end of the season for their league. Um, I do think I do like Phantasm's play style to going up against Gamer Legion. If Gamer Legion comes out kind of sluggish, I do like Phantasm to kind of gain an early game advantage and kind of beat Gamer Legion in an upset. So I think that this is a good GPP target to uh, uh, to target for Phantasm. But I think Gamer Legion is you know it can be a juggernaut if they you know hit hit on the all cylinders because they have the talent to do so. And then Team Esca Gaming versus Fnatic TQ. You saw both teams here yesterday. Um, Fnatic look really good. Um, they're talented. Their roster is very good too. Um, so we'll see what happens there. But I think most likely Fnatic's going to win here. And then this is the probably the marquee matchup of the day. Probably the closest matchup of the day. Um, not, and I don't say that because of the odds, but just looking at the data from their respective leagues. Carmine Corp is obviously for some of you guys, they, you guys probably know, most of you guys know, have heard of Carmine Corp, but they are a regular in the EU Masters tournament and they have come very close to winning tournaments before. Um, and they're a really good team compared to X7, um, who is pretty good too. Like, I mean, look, their data is kind of off the charts. So I, I think I can definitely see um, both teams, uh, you know, winning paths in this game. Um, I do think X, X7 can pull this off but we'll, we'll kind of go delve into that a little further. And then Bifrost versus BDS, we saw both teams yesterday. Uh, BDS is really good, they're solid. Um, and, uh, you know, they've shown some frailties, you know, early in the game, um, in, the, in the game yesterday, but I think BDS will take care of business here. Um, and then LDLC and Bison, LDLC struggled a bit. I mean, against uh, um, Atleta, I believe it was, Atleta. Um, likes to, uh, you know, engage in fights and everything too. Um, their play style is, you know, really set up well for winning a best of one series like that. I think you kind of, as an underdog, you kind of have to be aggressive and try to be proactive in making plays. Otherwise, if you're just sitting back and being idle, you're just going to get outscaled or out outperformed throughout the map um, and just lose slowly and gradually. And so you kind of have to be proactive in this meta currently um, to, to be able to beat the opponent as an underdog. And I really like that about Atleta, but LDLC had to deal with it yesterday. Um, Bison's, is that similar uh, play style to Atleta? I don't think so, but I think Bison's also has shown me that they can, um, they have a little bit of upside to be able to beat LDLC. And LDLC, as mentioned on yesterday's video, they, um, uh, they can be very volatile at times in the game. They actually had a few moments where I thought Atleta could pull this off in an upset yesterday, but, you know, maybe they'll shore it up today and then they'll beat Bison's handedly, but, you know, naturally LDLC actually, <laughs> I'm not a huge believer in LDLC because of the volatility that I've seen out of them um, the last, you know, I mean, and in, in their game highlights even, I mean, that I saw on YouTube that LDLC has been so volatile in, in their respective league, so. But, you know, they played in the tough league. They're battle-tested. 
um, the, but they can, you know, I, I, probably most likely they'll be bisons, but I think bisons would make it make for a good GPP play in my opinion. So given all of that, I do want to here maybe make my predictions and kind of the, go over the kill upside. So UOL, Atleta. Um, I think this is, first of all, I'm going to say prediction, EOL wins, kill upside, very good. Like I said, Atleta likes to play, uh, you know, play pretty bloody as well as uh, universe, uh, Unicorns of Love. Um, so I, I do like the kill upside in this matchup. It's very good. You definitely want to have a share of, you definitely want to have a share of this game, um, whether it's EOL, if you think Atleta can pull this off. Um, I, I do think EOL is better than LBLC, um, whom uh, Atleta played against yesterday. So I do think EOL wins. I'll have a little bit of exposure. Atleta can pull this off. So maybe I'll move my picture here. Uh, Atleta can pull this off, but EOL is better than LBLC, whom ATL played against yesterday the kill upside is very good like i said phantasm i don't know the acronyms for these teams so i'm just gonna write it out um let's see like i said gamer legion played um poorly later in this in their uh in their split spring split and phantasm played really well um i do like um this is a tough one because I, I think my uh, eye test tells me that I should pick Phantasm as an upset, but then just the data, looking at the data show, you know, showing me that Gamer Legion should take care of business. So I do think it's a good uh, toss up play. Let's see, toss up. Um, why not? Fuck it. Let's do it. Phantasm upsets Gamer Legion. I think it's more of, of a toss up than people think. Phantasm and great spot, riding hot streak and their split to upset GL. I think the kill upside is okay. I think kill upside is okay. Looking at the kills per win uh, for both teams, I, I think they're gonna be okay. And then let's see, Fnatic versus Eskia, Eska. Um, like I said, I think Fnatic is really good. They played uh, really clean yesterday. Um, they, I think Eska was okay um, against, I think it was BDS maybe, yeah. I think I'm gonna go with Fnatic pretty handedly. I think Fnatic wins. They played real clean yesterday. Um, Eska showed some hope yesterday versus, I think it was BDS, like I said. But Fnatic is better than BDSA, at least from the gameplay yesterday. Kill upside is pretty good. I, I didn't say I wouldn't say very good because I think Fnatic plays fast, but Eska that's not. So um, I think Fnatic good CKPM, but Eska not so good CKPM. Okay, and then X7, like I said, this is the toss up. I think um, I do like um, X7 to upset here. Um, I think Carmine Corp is not as good as they used to be last year, um, just given the roster swap. Um, I do think X7 upsets KC. I like X7 top side of the map over KC's players. Um, KC is new roster this year is not as good as last year's. 
and also data showing X7 can definitely pull this off. I think kill upside is okay. Um, it's not as good as the Fnatic or the UOL game, in my opinion. So I think for what it's worth, I think it's a toss up. And uh, obviously, given the odds here, as you can see, um, so I think their ownership will be popular. I think both for both teams. So I think it'll be it'll be very cr critical to get the prediction right. So I think X7 can pull this off though. Okay, and then let me see. Two more games, right? Biofrost, BDSA. I think um, BDSA will take care of business. Takes care of Biofrost. Their roster is very talented and with one game under their belt in EU Masters, I like BDSA to play more clean today than yesterday's. And like I said, they played against Eska, and Eska actually it, it looked pretty decent. It wasn't it wasn't BDSA's fault. I think it was more of the opponent. Um, I just feel like Bifrost, um, the Biofrost or Bifrost, Bifrost. Sorry. Um, macro game is good, but their team fights were not impressive yesterday. Kill upside is pretty good actually. Given look at the looking at the uh, combined kills per minute. Okay, last one is LDLC versus Bison. I like I said, I had a hard time earlier in, in this video uh, choosing them. Um, I just feel like Bison's um, can pull this off. I don't know. LDLC has been so volatile, but I feel like, like I said, for B, like BDSA, um, they have one game under their belt, just like LDLC. I think LDLC wins. But Bison makes a good GPT play. And given that LDLC plays volatile and maybe have to play, may have to play catch up. I like I like all LDLC games for legal upside. Um, so let's see. LDLC, no, kill upside is good. I would eh, not very mm, good. I say good. LDLC wins, but LDLC has been so volatile, but with one game under their belt, I like LDLC's chances to play more clean today. But Bison's, I mean, they probably, I like Bison's chances too. So anyway, so yeah, anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, but you know, really, there's not much data out there because I mean, the like I said, the all these teams come from their respective leagues, but we just have to analyze them kind of, you know, we're basically analyzing apples to oranges unless you know we saw them yesterday. So, really, I mean, just for what it's worth, this is what I got. But yesterday's analysis was good, um, very good. Um, hopefully, you know, we continue that streak. But if you guys have any questions or anything like that, let me know and good luck, everybody. Have a good one. Bye bye.